Hello again, everybody. I'm the coach, and this is Madden Ultimate Team. Hope you're ready, because we've got another good one on tap. should have stayed in the end zone as he can only muster a return to the 14-yard line. So here are the Eagles now backed up to start their first drive. They'll be led out by their quarterback, who's now in his seventh season in the league, former number one overall pick, Jameis Winston. Throughout his career, a few have doubted Jameis Winston's ability to throw the football. The concerns, they've always centered around his accuracy and taking care of it. When he makes good decisions on the field, excellent numbers usually result. A first down throw for Winston. He finds his target. It's Schultz. And the result here, a pickup of eight. Leaves him with two to go on second down. Nice rhythm throw there on first down. He located his tight end, made a nice, easy pitch and catch. Hoping he can break a tackle or two. Wasn't able to do that there, but still good yardage. And he stopped immediately there. a nice job there defensively being able to diagnose that little touch pass. They saw it coming, converged on it before he could get much out of it. Third play in this opening drive as they're looking at a third and three. Jameis to throw it. He'll get this one complete to Zay Jones. And he is going to have an Eagles first down as they're able to get the third down conversion. So first and ten now from the 30. This is Sony Michelle. He grew up a few miles north of here. And they get him down, but not before he takes it across the 40-yard line. That's a very nice game there. Confidence-building run. Love the execution up front. And the way he pressed the hole, absolutely perfect. On first and 10, Winston. Got his man complete over the middle. It's Jones. And they'll get him down as he's inside the 40. I don't think it's a surprise they're throwing the football early. We expected that. They told us they were going to come out firing but four for four on the opening drive. They like that. <laughs> they don't just like it. They love it because now everyone gets locked in. The confidence jumps up. Everyone's easy about what they're doing out there. And by the way, they're looking at the sideline thinking to themselves and expressing, let's keep throwing it. We're doing pretty well. Winston's throw into the hands of Sample. That helps the completion percentage, but not much else. And now it's third and ten. Got to give credit where it's due. Really nice defense on that play. The pitch and catch was successful, but not any run after it. Well, he's going to go for it all. And that's going to be caught for an Eagles touchdown. A great effort there. 37 yards. And the Eagles have taken the early lead. The extra point by McLaughlin is up and good. And that makes the score 7-0. The kickoff team on the field now as they will send this one away. Taking it about the 1. And he returns this to the 22. So here are the Dolphins now getting set for their initial possession. They're led by the NFL's MVP in 2018 and also MVP of Super Bowl 54 in his fifth season. It's Patrick Mahomes. It'll be Sanders to begin the drive. Second quarter from Miami. It's the Dolphins with the football. After one, seven, nothing on EA Sports. And he'll have the Dolphins first down as he's able to get this up past the 40. That's a nice run right there, able to get to the outside. And so many times, defenses say, okay, we've got you hemmed in. 
But if you're running the football, at least you know where everyone is coming from. You don't have to worry about the backside at all. That allows you to run with a little bit more confidence as you traverse down the field. And he's going to get this down to the 35-yard line. Well, that certainly has to feel good. It's not all the time that the play caller should get all the credit. Sometimes I think in the huddle, the quarterback just says, hey, who's going to make a play for me? I just need something right here. And the end result there, nice first down. Drive keeps moving. Eight yards on the pickup, and now they'll have some options on second and short. Two minutes on the clock, second quarter, 7-0 ball game. A reminder coming up in a couple of minutes' time. We'll pay a visit to Jonathan Coachman, the coach in our EA Sports studios. They'll have a look back at the next-gen stats from this first half of action. He got maybe a half yard at most, but officially they'll be left with a third and two. On third down, they'll run it with Sanders. They're looking for a lane, but none to be found for Sanders as they stop him short of the line to gain. Brian Flores learned under the master. He's going to go on fourth down. 23, 23. Going for it with Sanders. And he will take it in for a Dolphins touchdown. A great play there. 26 yards. And the Dolphins are an extra point away from tying up this football game. So how about the fortitude there? They're in field goal range, but they say, no, forget the three. We think we can get the first, and they wind up getting a lot more than they bargained for. And I love how you used an SAT word to describe what we just saw there, partner. That's got to be a deflated defense. You see the head down, the shoulders slumped. But we've talked about this before. Sometimes it's a defense. You get so wrapped up in defending the first down line that that's your last line of defense. And once they get past that, they're gone. Team's had it. Each team has scored 7-7 seven, seven here as the kick's away. Jadon Mickens now from his end zone. And the decision to bring it out, not a good one as he's tackled at the 15. The Eagles offense set to begin their next drive. Tie ball game, still a little more than a minute to go in the half. The question, can they put something together here, try to take that lead into intermission? I would have to think that would be the goal for sure. I don't think you sit on anything here. Here's your opportunity. Push it downfield. As you mentioned, it's a tie game. So minus a disaster on your part, you've got that in your back pocket. Go ahead and try and get some points and feel great going into the half. And they'll bring him down here up at about the 22-yard line. They get six. That'll leave them with third and four. Now Winston. He's got his all-pro receiver, Michael Thomas. And he gets this one just shy of the 40. They'll mark him down at the 39. Now the Eagles will use the second of their timeouts as they'll stop it with just over 40 seconds to go in the first half. Jameis now on first down. He finds his man complete. It's Schultz. Now Jameis trying to hurry his crew to the line. To the air again with Winston. He'll air it out deep for Thomas. And that's going to be incomplete. Good effort there. Trying to take a shot, but it's third down. They come up now third and five following the incomplete pass. Now Winston to Michelle on the screen. And they went the wrong way there. Losing yardage back at the 43-yard line. And they're going to take a timeout defensively. So with fourth down coming up, they go ahead and burn it and say we'll see what happens. Final play of the half here, Winston. He's going to loft one deep over the middle. And incomplete on the deep ball. We got this. First half in the books. You're watching the NFL on EA Sports. All right, Brandon, thanks very much. Welcome, everybody, to our abbreviated version of the EA Sports Halftime Report. 
Time now for a look at the next-gen stats in that first half for the Eagles. And in a tie ball game, they've got to be asking themselves, what can we do to get this passing game on track for the second half to come? Meanwhile, for the Dolphins, we get a look at their numbers on the ground in that first half as they'll be looking to rev things up here in a tie ball game. Welcome back. Charles and I settled into the booth ready for quarter number three. Set and ready to go for the second half. One touchdown apiece. 7-7 seven, seven our score. Taking it about the one. And able to get this out to the 25. So Miami coming out for their second drive. It's a tie football game here. What do you think, Charles, the message was at halftime? Well, I think that they probably just looked at things and said, we're fortunate that this is a tie game. No need to panic. No need to change a whole lot. We didn't play anything close to our best in the first half, so we don't have to go out and win one for the Gipper. Let's just go out and play our best football and win one for us. Second down, and back they go to Sanders. And they get him down, but not before he takes it across the 40-yard line. 72 yards for him on the ground now, as he has been terrific here this afternoon. That was good, tough running right up the middle. And if the defense can't penetrate and make him slow his pace or change direction, that's often the end result. On first and ten, it's Sanders. And he sneaks his way forward only for a couple here. Second down. Second and eight. They'll run with Sanders. And across the midfield, stripe into Eagle territory. And after that type of a run, there's some talking going on down on the field, but it's not trash talking. The guy who just carried the ball, he's going back and telling his offensive line, great job, keep it up, and we'll break that one soon. Play action. Now it's Mahomes. Oh, going for Jefferson downfield. Got a man, it's caught inside the 10. And all the way in for a Miami touchdown. Justin Jefferson, 47 yards. for a touchdown. But what happens as a defensive back is your eyes have to go to the right place. You always hear Coach come back. Are your eyes in the right spot? But this time the eyes went to the play action. It froze their feet. They weren't moving. And he went on past them and caught the pass for a touchdown. From the end zone, this is Mickens. And they'll be backed up to start this drive as he's taken down right around the 15. For most people, the excitement of a kickoff return is to see a long one that goes back in the opposite direction. But for the guys covering it, it's being able to stop them deep in their own territory. How about that incredible form tackle right there? Shoulder in the ball carrier, and down he goes. They begin with Michelle on the ground. And not much there at all. He's up only to about the 16-yard line. Just a yard on the first down carry, so it's second and nine. You know, despite the score line, I think they've got to like where they are here. They're on the road in just one big play away from getting right back in this game. I'm going to follow right along with you because the spot they're in now is a credit to their defense. They've kept them in it by making the plays that they've made, and that just means you're one big score away from being right back there. Now the question is, can this offense step up and make that play? Because that's been an issue for them in this game. This defense is continuing to contest every deep ball that is thrown downfield. And look, it doesn't matter whether you're playing man or zone, eventually that becomes man on man. And you've got to trust yourself and go up at that moment of truth and make a play on the football. On third down, Winston. That's out to his running back, Michelle. And they're going to stop him short of the first down as he's tackled at about the 21. That one good for only six, and it leaves him with a fourth down. The Eagles send out their punter now. And surprisingly, this is the first punt of the game for either team. This is brought in at the 21.
And finally, he goes out of bounds right at the 35-yard line. He had his sights on the end zone, no doubt, but is brought down after a huge return there. And the Dolphins will begin this drive in great field position, first and 10. A look at the running back, the man out of the backfield as he gears up to go again. He's had a good performance, moved the ball effectively on the ground. Of course, he has the one touchdown. And when you're able to move it as effectively as you've described, that leads to finding a way into the end zone. And now he's just trying to do it for a second time. And of course, with that comes additional yardage. Yeah, looking for additional yardage. And again, that second score here in the third quarter. And he'll maneuver his way forward for about four, second and six. It's a pickup of four, and it'll bring up second down. Well, the end of all that hitting and hollering, it was a four-yard run, so the offense is going to go back to that and feel pretty good about themselves. Defensively, you have to feel okay because you didn't let it turn into a bigger run, but the goal, shut it down for two yards or less. That's when you start to feel good about yourselves. On third down, they turn to Sanders. And some room to maneuver. And he's taken down, but not before reaching the 10-yard line. 106 yards rushing for him now as he has been tremendous all day long. And carries like that, that's how they're going to continue to salt this thing away here, Charles, in the fourth quarter. Yeah, how about that? A new set of downs. Clock continues to move. No better way to close out a game than to tap those mastodons you have up front and say, guys, Keep pounding them. Let's keep the ball, keep their offense on the sidelines, and let's close this one out. Not totally home free yet, but it's looking good as they come up first and 10. On, now with the play clock down to two, we're going to get a timeout here. It's just their first. They'll be down to two remaining as we step aside here in the fourth quarter. They'll try and run some clock here as they keep it on the ground. And he'll take this into the end zone for a Dolphins touchdown. A great effort there. The second touchdown of the afternoon. And the Dolphins are able to blow their lead. And that makes this a two-score ball game. And you know, the way this thing has been going, Charles, two scores kind of feels like three or four scores. Yeah, that's a great observation. It's been a heck of a battle, hasn't it? Points have been at a premium throughout this game. So you have to wonder, is this going to be too much for them to overcome? Point after here, coming up. It's good, and it is now 21-7. to seven. So that drive, four plays. And Barry Sanders, the one to finish it off, as he does so with a touchdown run. Is the kickoff unit as they run up and send this one away. This taken in at the goal line. And all deep in his own territory, he coughs up the football. And the Dolphins have got it. So problems compounding themselves here on the return. They just give up the touchdown, and now they lose the football. Yeah, partner, things are starting to unravel a little bit for them right in front of our eyes. They're going to be looking for some answers, and quickly. So now, just like that, things change dramatically. It's first and goal. Throwing now is Mahomes. Toward the pylon, caught. And he takes this down to about the two before going out of bounds. Three yards the gain there, second down. They'll run for it with Lynch. And he is in. Touchdown, Miami. Marshawn Lynch taking it in for two yards out. And the Dolphins are able to strike quickly to add on to their lead. But just power football there. Down near the goal line. Give it to him. He's able to push his way across. Yeah, they went heavy there. Sometimes you have those big offensive linemen coming out to report like they're eligible. But all they're doing is getting a good stance, blocking, and getting their runner across the goal line. Extra point splits the uprights. And the lead now to three touchdowns at 21. Set now to 
Kick this one away, and off it goes. To return is Jadon Mickens. And he will make it back to the 15, and that's it. Good coverage there by the kick team. In this position, trying to get back into the game, teams are looking for a spark from their special teams. That's not what they got, though. They got a setback, and they have a long field to cover. They want to try and put points on the board. Winston now to throw on first down. Looking long for Thomas. Into a double team, and it's intercepted. Picked by his former FSU teammate, Jalen Ramsey. And the Dolphins are going to have it here at their own 32-yard line. So the Dolphins have it as we welcome you back in from the 32 now. Here's first and 10. Interesting, Mahomes wants to throw it. Oh, going for Sanders downfield. And this is caught. Touchdown, Dolphins. A big play there. 68 yards. And the Dolphins are able to extend that advantage. Well, this is exactly where I expect teams to take a shot. Right after a turnover, you count on the defense being a little bit jumbled coming out on the field. Maybe catch them back on their heels. And that's exactly what they did there. They threw it downfield and really created a big play. Well, you said jumbled. They were the definition of jumbled defensively. One play and into the end zone. Point after, right down the middle. And that will increase their lead to 28. The kickoff unit is out on the field, and they will send this one away. And not willing to risk another fumble. He'll sit on this one. It's a touchback. Here's the Philadelphia offensive unit now as they head out to take over possession. They've lost this one. Their offense has struggled. Do they try to put together something here at the end just to take into next week? Yeah, sometimes teams want to do that and coaches want to. I remember one time I was on a team and we were losing late in the game like this and you knew it was lost. It was over, right? And the coach called a running play and pretty much said to everyone, I want to see something executed well before we get out of here. And that was the message to the team. Just something to build Just on. Just something to build on, get it done, and maybe we can look at that and say, we'll get better as we go forward. Second and five. To throw, Winston. Throw right side into the hands of the tight end sample. And they get him down, but not before he takes it across the 40-yard line. Well, this game is certainly pretty well over. They go ahead and mark it in the win column. But as a defense, they don't want to get so soft now that everybody just throws the ball all over the place against them, gets big yardage, and puts points on the board. They have pride, too, on that side of the ball. And now a throw on first down there, but it's incomplete. At this point in the game, they've got to continue to try anything they can. They're still working at it, even though this one feels like a lost cause. To throw once more on second and 10. Winston. And the Dolphins rush gets home. Down he goes. The Eagles going to take the first of their timeouts as they get the stoppage with a little over 50 seconds left to go in the game. Now on third and long, they'll look to throw. And he's caught on the sideline, but he's not going to have a first down. They say he was out of bounds. So a big call there that brings up Ford. This defense was definitely alert to the possibility of the deep ball, and they were more than ready for it. They've got the lead, fourth quarter. Maybe can expect more passes like that downfield. Desperation time. Winston on fourth down. It's incomplete. Took a shot, couldn't connect. They had to go for it with such little time remaining, and the Dolphins get the football in great field position. So they'll come up first and 10 now from the 33. Here's Sanders. And not much running room. Down to the 32. Credit him with a one-yard gain there to make it second and nine. Another run with Sanders. And they'll get this one to about the 20-yard line. 
129 yards rushing for him now as this sensational afternoon continues. The Dolphins going to take their second timeout. That'll leave them with just one remaining in this fourth quarter of play. Mahomes going to throw it here. And he will get into the end zone. It's another touchdown. This thing is high ground. But this is long since over, and some might see this is overkill. But remember, this is a team that puts on the hard hats, grabs the lunch pail, and tells everyone, we're going to give you a full 60 minutes. And that's exactly how they're playing this one out. Point after try, forthcoming. And this one was over a while ago as they just add on to their big lead. Scoring summary, three-play drive. And it winds up in six points for the Dolphins. The kickoff team on the field now as they will send this one away. Oh, the return is Mickens. And good coverage there on special teams as they'll get him down shy of the 20. The Eagles offense set to begin their next drive. Well, this is just an exercise in futility. Do you, do you even bother running a play here offensively? I wouldn't because now is not going to erase what's happened during the game. So after it's over, you're going to go to the film, find out where the game was really lost. But this is not a situation now where you're going to make up for anything. We'll see what they do here. A big offensive explosion help leading them to victory. And the defensive guys, they're just saying, hey, put those points up every week. We'll just keep winning. They will gratefully accept them, won't they? It makes their job that much easier when they're scoring that many points. Allows them to play with a totally different style and a different flow.